Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm Lee Whitaker, and I have got in my hand quite possibly the strangest golf club I have ever seen. Look at that. This is the Maisel Wedge. And as you can see, it has holes in it. The face is slightly milled, so to give you that grip, but what is that like and this sole is massive now i've got a 59 degree wedge and Maisel have kindly sent me one to test out i will say that this wedge is completely illegal cannot be used in competition but it's designed to help you get out of bunkers that's what it's designed for is the sand will go through the face and help get the ball out now for me when i think of a bunker shot I want that sand there because the sand is what helps get the ball out. It sort of like splashes it out, it explodes around the ball and the ball comes out. Like you never actually hit the ball when you hit a bunker shot. You're hitting the sand and the sand is getting the ball out. So why would I want that sand to go? But we'll test it. We'll take it to a bunker and we'll test it. I'm also going to test some chip shots around the green. With it being a 59 degree wedge, I'm going to hit some full shots in and see how it feels and sounds. And also, I'm going to test it out of a bunker, but I don't hold many hopes for this golf club because this is as strange as it comes. Now, first thing I will say, can you hear that ting? That sounds horrendous. <laughs> Absolutely horrendous. But when you look it down at the ball, like all that sitting on the bottom, kind of, it kind of feels and looks quite confidence inspiring right this is some chips down here like it's impossible to stop this on this green but we'll give it a go okay so the first one was a bit fat that was completely down to me but i kind of hope that sole would help a bit that noise is horrific by the way that tinging noise this green scares me, I need to fly it a bit further. Don't get me wrong, it gets the ball up in the air and it's like, it kind of is what it is. It's just a little wedge, but that noise is horrendous. So in and around the greens, you know, it, that sole does slide off, that's fine. But can you hear that noise when it comes off? You can definitely get the ball in the air, it definitely pops up, but it's 59 degrees, it's gonna pop up. Chip in, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a wedge, it's gonna chip. Right, I've come back a little bit to where I would use my normal 58 for just like little sort of 60 yard pitch shot. So let's see how this performs on a pitch shot. The first thing I'll say is this grip is so thin, like it's super thin. Um, for someone who uses mid-sized grips, it's um, pretty bad, to be honest. Right, let's see if we can pitch the green and how this feels. It looks, it looks weird, very weird down at the ball. Right, that has just come out super low. But it grabbed, like the spin on it was unreal. But I'd expect it to, I don't know what the ball's going to look like, but that came out really low like a lot lower than i expected it to and the noise was bad let's come out a little bit higher to be fair it's not performing too bad we'll repair this ground before i go okay so so far not too bad oh that noise is horrendous It does get a lot of spin, to be fair, but it, I would expect it to. Right, let's see if we can travel this one a little bit further onto the green. I should pitch the green. What I'll say is all in this grooves, like the mud just gets congealed up into it. Right, let's go. See if we can actually get some spin and action on the green. They have not done bad. 
So full pitch shots, you know, it's not done too bad, but I think the variation in the ball flight would worry me because I'd kind of want to be able to have control of that ball flight, but the noise when you hit it, it's really hard to explain how bad it is. Remember that ping potter that when you hit it, you get that mighty ping and that's where the kind of name came from. That's what you're getting when you hit a wedge shot with this. Now inside here, it's collected a load of dirt. Quite annoying to get out. I mean, don't get me wrong, you have to clean a normal wedge's grooves, but like that's just collecting in there with full shots. But this is designed to be a bit of a cheat stick when it comes to bonkers. So I'm gonna go to a bonker with a pretty big lip and I'm gonna see if I can get it out of that bunker and that will be the test for this club. All in all, I mean, it's all right. Is it a cheat stick for chips and pitch shots? Certainly not. I certainly wouldn't like to use it and much prefer a normal wedge, but I struggle out of bunkers. And is this, does carrying this one club help me get out of bunkers? Granted, it, I couldn't use it in competition. Please show you where they finished and one over there. And I think, you know, for consistency, like that's great, but those last couple of shots, I hit pretty full swings on and I barely made it to the green for a 59 degree wedge and I would expect my 58 to be going like on a full swing about 90, 95 yards. I was only about 60, 70 yards out there. And I was actually struggling to get to that green with a full shot and I only just made it. Um, so I think there's a big distance drop off there and that could be down to the fact that you're not hitting a lot of the ball with the golf club. Like you're probably only catching a line of it. So you're not getting all that sort of force of a full face golf club hitting it. And that's where you're gonna get a bit of a distance drop off. Now, as expected, let me try and get this in a the shadow, there we go. As expected, you can see the lines it's left on the club face, but look closely, it has torn that ball to shreds. And that is something I would worry about with this wedge. It would absolutely just annihilate your soft golf balls. That is a soft urethane golf ball. It's hit one wedge and it's, it's just torn it to pieces. Right, I've come to a bunker, the natural habitat for this club apparently. All that sole is designed to help you get out of a bunker. We'll soon find out. So I've got them strategically placed a little bit around this bunker. I don't know how it's gonna work because I don't really want the sand to disappear. Right, so the bounce itself actually is a hindrance on this club because it just like it's massive i need to dig down into this i can't really open the face up I'm getting absolutely no spin at all i'm actually killing the face a little bit so is it helping me get out of the bunker well yeah i'm getting out but is it helping me stop it anywhere near that pin? Not really. Well, that one did okay. Right, we'll leave that one. In fact, I'm gonna go right up against the face on that one and open it right out. Um, does it work? It's hard to say. I've got out the bunker, so. But I'm getting no spin, no grab at all on it. Right, right up against the face. Open that up. How quickly can I get this in the air? No. It's just that that bounce doesn't help. It doesn't help me glide, it sort of wants to get out too quick. There's just absolutely no spin on that whatsoever. So what I found with that is actually, it's a help and a hindrance. So when you wanna get through the sand, don't be wrong, this helps you get through the sand, but I feel like it gets me out of the sand too quickly. So when I was right up against the face, I couldn't open it up because look at all that bounce there. Like that's just far too much bounce. Like that's just horrendous. So you open this face up, like that is just a joke. So what I found is as I went into the ground or into the sand, I wanted to get out really quickly. Well, actually I wanted to get down into it, 
because I wanted the ball to pop up. So when I opened the face up, I just felt like because of that much bounce, I couldn't get down into it. So I think like, I don't know, like it's, I just use a normal wedge if I'm perfectly honest. It's a bit of a gimmick. Does it work? It's kind of impossible to tell. I did get out the bunker, it is soft sand. I do sometimes struggle to get out of these bunkers with my normal wedges and I got out every single time apart from one when I was right up against the face. So did I feel more confident as I was hitting it in the bunker? Yes. Would I use it on pitch shots and chip shots? No, because I feel like I've lost so much distance when it came to those full pitch shots. And actually, as I was walking up here, Andy, the head pro here, I gave it to him to have a little pitch and he hit what would be his normal sort of shot to this green and it went about halfway. Um, and he also said the fact that it said 59 with it being an odd number would just do his head in. So I don't see the place for this golf club. Um, it's a bit of a gimmick, but it's a talking point. And if you want to buy one and you feel it helps you get out of a bunker, then so be it. Just remember it is illegal and you can't use it in competition. But if you want a bit of fun with your friends and it's a talking point and you know, everyone has a go of it then then fine you know golf is supposed to be fun this club is a bit of fun it's not really a serious golf club for me but it's um it just is what it is hope you've liked that video and if you have please do hit that like button and subscribe button and i'll see you all on the next video when we will probably review something a little bit more conventional i'll see you soon